you know it's going to be a good ride when you're dealing with that sort of stuff um okay so this morning you're joining me pretty much next to uh the entrance to black rocks um i'm not not going to ride around here i'm not going to return to the scene of the uh, the accident just yet um but what i'm going to do uh, is do a mega 40 miler uh today and um, go out really early uh might be able to judge by the how quiet and peaceful it is just about to join the high peak trail I'm going to head out to head out west, head out uh, up into the hills. Um, it's going to be 40 mile up to basically around Chrome Hill and uh, I'm back again. Um, all about pushing the fitness at the minute. I'm kind of working on the idea that there's no point in me doing anything too technical if I haven't got the fitness because more accidents lie that way. So work on the fitness, get that back up to sort of something decent and then we'll start looking at uh, something a bit, uh, a bit more techy. <laughs> the wrong gear to start with. This is inspired by a video uh, from uh, Julie Phelan and uh, Julie's a very experienced rider, she's a coach, she uh, now lives in the area, so not originally from here and she's uh, got a great channel, she's got started too long ago, um, definitely put the link to that in the description and uh, yeah, sort of grab, mainly gravel, cycle across, light MTV, so she does. Um, and do you know what I was watching? I thought that's the sort of thing I need to be doing at the moment. And we're approaching a big hill here. Once I've done this one, it definitely flattens out. Middleton incline. First target reached. Uh, got the top of Middleton top. The top of Middleton top. Uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Old bit of industrial heritage. Obviously, all an old railway line. Um, this was an incline where they were pulled up. Um, here is an old carriage, such thing. Um, yeah, this basically the first bit is just going all the way down the high peak, uh, joys I think onto the Tissington Trail. So, uh, navigation should be really easy. Um, let's see how we get on. <laughs> If you're in the area, you don't know it particularly well, you want to get out on the bikes, you've not got your own. There's a higher place at Middleton Top. There's also one at Parsley Hay. So, um, that's the next uh, major point, I think. Loads of these tunnels up uh, on the old railway lines. Isn't it amazing? So just in case you don't know when you come to these gates, you should be able to do this. And then, Hmm. And that's how you break them. Um, yeah, so then when you stop, you can hear them. So it's quite handy. There's, there's a few of these actually as you go up the uh, way here. Uh, obviously, I started off down here, up to Milton Top. I'm looking my way all the way up here now. Going to Parsley Hay, and then kind of well, it reached the end of the trail there, but you then end up going in a loop around here and then coming back somewhere down here. I don't know, we'll find it. Hello, hello, a rabbit today, not a squirrel. Seems got a record recently of it again. Squirrel running out on me today, it's a rabbit. No point in me overtaking yet, there's another gate. <laughs> there we go, that's the turn plate. <laughs> that's your turn. Lovely job, it's all working out. Cheers. Here we are past the hay. Nothing open. That is a little hut. I don't know any more than that, there was some sign, but I'm not stopping to read it because I'm not. I have reached Delo. Wow, actually some downhill. Take the next right. uh, not to, not what you really call downhill, but comparatively what we're doing on this uh, on this journey it is. Let's have a little look. I'm not sure where you can pick it 
that way in the background there you've got sort of uh, my target I'm going to go around that's Chrome Hill uh, looking, well I can see it I don't know whether you can but looking pretty spectacular uh, just down there still in the sunshine uh, however behind me Get a bit grim. Alright, see what happens. Morning. Pretty loose underneath lots of small stones. That just would be excited on the gravel line. First time the ride, we're on a bit of grass. And some pretty spectacular views. Just got to miss the poo poo. Well, you looks like my glasses on, I don't want poo poo eye. Ooh, there, that's what I meant. Oh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I can say is, I'm glad I have the force out to put the glasses on because I've got some. Look at that one. Yeah. Hello, beauties. What are we doing? Looks going to be the that you're the little one, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Covered in it. Covered in it. This sort of stuff reminds me of the North, uh, like North Yorkshire moors. Oh, it's not a bad view this. It's not a bad view. Right there, looks like we've got a bit of zigzags, a bit of alpine road. Quite how deep it is. <laughs> oh no. No, no. Now make a U turn, it says. Nearly came to tea then, Mark and uh, Will. Just staying in Derbyshire though now. That uh, interesting looking rocky outcrop is, well it's called Pillsbury Castle, um, which as you can see some uh, ancient uh, fortification back in the day. 
Got to take it down the green velvety driveway. Look at this. Look. This will get some of the muck off. Oh, watch that now. Oh, Tommy Shorts. Ugh. Christ. Oh, got to stay there. Yeah. Up on the gravel lane out of Hartington. Bit of climbing to do up here. Yeah, I'm getting tired now. Good lord, these are dry. Nature Valley, not Death Valley. Good job. Back on the High Peak Trail, I'm just dropping back to the Middleton Top and Black Rocks. There's enough battery left. I'll see you on the next one.